Perhaps you've seen it at the beach, on the street, or even at the supermarket. It's the original, and we still make it the same way. My father made it, the same exact way. Call it slush, Italian ice. Either way, Richie Cardillo has been keeping it cool with his Richie's Italian ice for 35 years. This is the original store my father opened in 1956, and he started just making sandwiches and groceries. And then an old timer, came to him and said, hey, you want to buy my lemon slush? Cardillo said people went crazy for the frozen treat, and he had an idea. I said to myself, every person loves slush, and why can't I just reach them all? How do I get to them? The answer, wholesale. Today, the same Richie's Italian ice sold at the original Everett store is found in supermarket freezers throughout New England. Cardillo says they still make the slush in small batches the way his father did. Still make it with the Carpaggiani machines that we bring in, they're imported from Italy. And that's important because when you make it by the batch, it gets more lathered, it has more density, it has more texture, and you can control it better. And it definitely, definitely makes a better product. The original store offers a choice of 35 flavors. There's no dairy in it, it's refreshing, it's cool, it's light. And while Cardillo loves his Italian ice, he says there's nothing better than having family by his side. I got my wife and I got my daughters and my son, and I've had employees with me since I started in 1983 that are still with me. And these guys, you know, without them I could have never, ever, gotten where I am today. And we treat our employees as family. They don't work for us, they work with us. In Hingham, Derby Street Shops is saying buongiorno to authentic artisanal gelato. I contacted some of the top gelato makers in Italy. Ma controllo un po' se c'è gelato. Vincent Turco and his family know good gelato. They lived in Italy for three years. When I came back, we were actually sitting around one Sunday going, where can we go for a great gelato? And we, we realized there weren't many places in Boston. After learning the craft, Turco and his family opened Gelato and Chill. Creamy, cool gelato is made fresh daily. But what exactly is the difference between ice cream and gelato? Gelato has less air. Ice cream sometimes is 100% air. The fat content of uh, ice cream is much higher, sometimes uh, double. And uh, generally, ice cream is served at a colder temperature. Gelato is served at a warmer temperature. Not quite hard ice cream and not quite soft serve, gelato is in a league of its own. Artisanal gelato has no additives, and generally we follow that rule, using local cream. But most of our ingredients are imported from Italy, top quality ingredients. And there's a dairy-free option as well. Only fresh fruit, sugar, and water go into the sorbetto. It's totally fresh, all vegan and healthy. Some cool treats are actually served warm. Turco says the hidden gem at Gelato and Chill is the affogato. Most gelato places have an espresso machine. That's what you need. You need a fresh cup of espresso to drizzle over the uh, gelato that comes right out of the container. That's an affogato, which the word in Italian means drowned. So you've actually drowned the gelato in the coffee. It comes out swimmingly. Oh, sorry, it's a pun. And while a cool gelato is a perfect treat on a hot day, Turco says he enjoys the reaction from customers the most. It makes people happy. I mean, I want to make people happy. This is a fun thing. Try a little flavor, try a little taste, and then see if you like it. I like it. Turco says customers sometimes visit his store and ask why the gelato isn't on display. He explains that air and light can alter the flavor and texture of the gelato, ruining the tasty treat. He says there are two ways people store gelato in Italy, in the glass containers where you can see the gelato and in stainless steel containers with lids. While both methods work great, he prefers to use the stainless steel method. Next, Ocean State Lemonade.